Just guys, I'm on my Instagram. I'm on my Instagram right now. And basically, I put up a question and answer kind of thing here. Here's the new video. Steroids, go watch that. Um, and so when I put up the question and answers, that's where the thing went. And basically, the guy said, <coughs> what, uh, two things. We're going to go over, uh, if you are fat, a lot of these guys are asking, should I just bulk up and put muscle on? I wouldn't. I mean, you're fat. Let's get in shape. You're going to love, all of you will love being in shape and training relative to even more fat. Okay, let me just say that. You're going to love to be in shape. So if you are fat and you're overweight and you go, well, should I just bulk up because I'm already fat? No. Get in shape. Get in shape. And then we'll put some more muscle on you because uh, you're going to like yourself better. You're going to like the workouts better. You're going to feel better. And let's make sure you're healthy too because I always tell you guys, get your blood checked. Make sure that you're healthy. Get your heart checked. Do all those little things that a lot of people just bypass through that. Um, that's one of the first things I did is, is when I hit 35, um, my mom, uh, because I lost my dad and stuff, uh, started making sure the whole family, all 10 kids, started getting really checked up and make sure the blood and the heart and prostate and all those colon and everything was healthy, healthy, healthy. So I know that's not bodybuilding and it's not what you're here for, but when I tell you one day you're going to go, I wish I listened to Mike. The health and being healthy is going to mean more to you than anything else. Uh, it's going to be more. It's going to mean more to you than a 500 pound bench. Let me just say that. So for you fat guys, let's get in shape, which is easy. I always tell you guys, if if it's so much easier to get in shape being fat um, relative to putting on muscle. Putting on muscle is hard because you really got to stay consistent. You got to stay on point with the nutrition. Um, and you got to be in the process for a long period of time. Um, but to get ripped when you're overweight is not a real difficult thing. And I do not want you guys to do this. I do not want you to turn this into a science project, okay? Um, my Titan crew is available for you, and it's available for you to talk to me. Um, my Titan meal plan, again, you don't know how to diet, don't sweat it. Give me 24 to 48 hours. Get over on the Titan Mayo plan, and I will take care of your nutrition for you. Easy cheesy. How many people do you work with? Maybe like a first time person, they come to you and they say, hey, Mike, man, I really want to work with you, and I'm excited to gain weight and put on some size and muscle. They send you photos, and you just have to convince them, hey, you, I know what you want, but that's not really what you need right now. You need to. Oh, yeah. And, you know, because that's, I'm sure you see a lot of people 20% fat, 22, and they just want to get yeah. big. It's like, yeah, you are big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jeffrey's just talking about people that I work with uh, more one-on-one -on -one, or even in the Titan crew, and they come to me and say, hey, I want to go here. And then I look at their bodies, and I go, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I don't know what you're seeing, but I see something different. And then I try to guide you in the right way to go. Um, and this is... It's a double-edged sword. Sometimes a, a guy will come to me and say, I'm at 10% body fat. And I look at him, I'm like, dude, you're at 20% body fat. Uh, yeah. And, and I know that you think that you're really huge at 280 pounds, but you're at 20% body fat, and there's not a lot of lean muscle there. So let's, let's reverse it. Let's get you in shape. And then there's other guys that come to me that are moderately skinny, but they're skinny um, soft because they're trying to diet down. And like, I, I'm ripped. And it's like, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Let's feed your body. You're going to get ripped more and put on muscle. So there's a lot of aspects to that. Hopefully we touched on bulking enough to understand that get in shape. Do not keep bulking if you're fat. Um, if you're thin, can you bulk? Yes. And you guys don't need to put healthy carbs or healthy proteins next to your statement of healthy uh, protein and carbs. I'm assuming that's already going to be there. You don't need to, you don't need to say healthy. Um, I kind of like this question. It's a little vague, but I can add to it. Would it be best to go into a major bulk like you did to gain muscle or just a regular bulk? And I, I can add to it because I think, he's, Oh, okay. You, you know what I'm going? Well, yeah, I, I need to show them what it was for me. Yeah. So you guys said, uh, the question was a great question. Hey, can I go into a, a major bulk like I did or do I just go into a regular bulk? So just so you understand, there is no such thing as a major bulk. 
It's just the bulk. Mm -hmm. um, there's no difference. Uh, and the reason why I gained 50 to 60 pounds in my bulk is because I've been in a deficit for seven years uh, because I didn't teach my body to use carbohydrates because I was always in shape, always doing guest posings, which I tell you guys, don't do what I'm doing. Do what I tell you to do. So when I went into my bulk, my body had to relearn carbohydrates. And also, I've been in a deficit and I was sliced to the bone. It was almost off stage. So me going up in size, again, it wasn't, it wasn't that much for a guy my size. You know, I'm 260 pounds on stage and I hit 310 pounds. I don't um, think you could say that enough. How important that statement is right there. Yeah. Seven-year deficit. Yeah, seven-year deficit, teaching my body not to use carbohydrates, going back into a bulk. 60 pounds, easy for me. Stage ready deficit. So, yeah, and, and also the, the quality is I was in better shape at 260 than I ever won the universe um, at 50. So, for you guys, understand better shape now than ever. you're better shaped now than ever. And we're going to test your blood and we're going to test your thyroid and we're going to test everything because Mona looks freaky, freaky right now. Um, but your body and your thyroid does change when you have a baby. So she already had a uh, fast thyroid. Could you imagine if she has a faster thyroid now? And she's looking freaky. Yeah. Going back to me, slice to the bone, uh, overtraining. See, here's another thing. I overtrain to stay down to 250, 260. I have to do that because that's what the image, uh, what they like and what they want to see me on. And I like it. Too much training. It's too much training. And so when I could stop two hours of cardio and stop training twice a day, um, and eat carbohydrates again. That's why my body reacted the way it did and put all that muscle uh, and size back on so quickly. Now, will that work for you? No, because I don't think anybody else out there is, is being in a deficit for seven years. Um, but it will do this. When you guys are doing these dumb diets where you're fasting all the time or you're not eating carbohydrates all the time, you will blow up. And what you'll think is that it is bad Allow your body time to understand carbohydrates again. Allow your body time. There you go. That's, yeah, that's one of the big things. You guys don't allow your body time to go, oh, wait a minute, I know how to use carbohydrates again. And it took me a good month for my body to go, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, go, 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 go. So if you're bulking and let's say my goal is, all right, man, I want to be, um, I'm 200 pounds, I want to be 225 takes me, let's say, you know, a month and a half, I get to 225. Cool, it's time to cut now. Oh, boy. All right, I did it, 225. Did let's you guys cut. hear that? Did you guys hear that? Again, for you guys in the back, when you bulk, do you get to the weight? His point was he went from 200 to 225. All right, I made 225 today. It's Monday. Uh, I was 224 yesterday. Boom, I start my cut. Well, the body hasn't stayed at 225, so it's not technically your weight yet. Stay there for a couple of months. Stay there for a period of time to where your body goes, this is my, my, my weight now. This is very healthy. I feel good at this weight. It's not me gorging the food in to get to 225, but now your body's just easy there. Here's the thing. I went up to 310 uh, and started uh, uh, slowly cutting things out. And if you guys watch my YouTube, which all of you need to be over there. Um, I cut out just a portion of little things, a scoop of wheat germ, a scoop of flaxseed. Um, I took out a, uh, eight ounces of fruit. That's all I changed. My body was sped up so much, so much that it was like instantly 10 pounds off. And then I hit 295 and I was like, wow, I'm just coming down now. So your body's going so fast off that bulk that you got to stay at that weight for a period of time. So it's really your weight. And so even for me, even though I went back up to that, um, I need to stay here for a period of time to, so my body gets used to this weight. Do not rush it. And if you can, here's the, here's the hard thing. Don't watch me again. If you can, stay there for a good three months. Just like you diet down for a show for 12 weeks, stay at that heavy weight uh, for 12 weeks. Let your body get used to it. Really retain that muscle before you start slicing. When you use that weight, to push some weight. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, everything he's saying, I'm hoping you guys already know that, and I don't need to repeat that, some, but. Some they won't. As you put that weight on and get stronger, you, uh, 
well, you should be getting stronger. If you're, if you're not getting stronger, that means you're just putting bad weight on you. Um, weight means if you're going up in weight and you're getting stronger, clearly that means you're putting on muscle. Then we're fine. Uh, but push some heavier weight, you know, uh, like you're doing now. You're pushing heavier weight and you oh, stay yeah. with it. Um, don't go back and don't try to – as long as you can do – Here's another thing too. Do less work. I know this is going to be weird. Wait a minute. You're bulking. Yeah, you're getting stronger, but do less work. Yeah, do less work. Stay at that heavier weight for more sets and do less secondaries. So you understand? So like, let's say you stay at the incline bench for seven sets instead of your typical three or four sets. And then your secondary exercises do maybe one or two sets there. The reason why is this, you put this muscle on, you hit this heavy, heavy weight, right? Now that's going to tear the fibers. That's going to be enough work for you right now because you're really feeding the body and you're really teaching it. So for when you later on, when you start your cut, all you got to do is up your sets and you automatically are burning more calories. And that's a huge factor too, because now you didn't destroy yourself when you were off season. So those are, these are fine details that if you guys write down this stuff and stay with it, great. A lot of the questions that were asked yesterday are already answered numerous times over on my YouTube. Um, I got over a million and a half on here on YouTube. You guys get over there. It's free information on the YouTube. The YouTube is going great, um, but there's so much information for you guys, even things that we forgot about here. That's it for today. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Can't give away all the secrets. Can't give you all the secrets, but I'm going to go train again because I'm sick.